Hello Internet, did you just get a 3D printer and you're not sure where to go from here? I will show you where you can get free files to print, how to get them to your printer, and how to run them. Stick around to the end of the video and I will show you what kind of filament I use and what you can get from Amazon to help you make time-lapse videos. Alright, let's get to it. First things first, obviously you're going to need to set up your 3D printer, you're going to need to get that running and get a test file going. That should all be on the memory card that came with your printer. This should all be included on your memory card. Usually you'll have a couple test prints. Um, you might have some instructions and some printers will even come with a proprietary slicer or uh, maybe just a default slicer. Once you get everything set up and make sure that your printer is running fine with the test print, you're going to want to get this guy and if it came with an adapter and your computer needs one, then go ahead and get that locked and loaded and get that ready to go because you're going to need that here shortly. First thing you're going to need to download is going to be a slicer. So there are a few options for you. The most common slicer that people use is Cura. You probably have heard of it. Um, that is by Ultimaker. Uh, there's also Prusa Slicer, Orca Slicer, and Bamboo Slicer if you ended up with a Bamboo Labs 3D printer. Like I said, the most, the most popular one is going to be Cura. I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you that. Let's go ahead and just get into that. You're going to come to Ultimaker.com here. Go into Software, Ultimaker Cura, and download for free. You've got Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, so pick your poison. Once you've got that downloaded, you are going to need some files. Let's go ahead and open Cura first. Now that we have Cura open, you are going to need to go through and select your printer. This is pretty straightforward. I believe it does pop up uh, asking you to select your printer. I'm just going to go ahead and run through it. Uh, you can see I've already got quite a few printers set up here, um, but if you're at this screen, all you're going to do is go to Add Printer. And at this point, it should be the same whether you have just downloaded it or are adding a printer like you saw me do. Go to Non-Ultimaker Printer, unless, of course, you have an Ultimaker printer. So we're going to go to Add Non-Networked Printer, and then you are just going to find whatever brand you have. So let's say... You've got a uh, Creality printer, like an Ender. You're going to go to Creality. They've got all of the new ones here. Um, let's see, I just recently got an Elegoo Neptune 4. So that's what I've been running. Um, Elegoo does have their own proprietary version of Cura, which does come on the memory card. So. Um, I've just been using the Neptune 3 profile for mine. Uh, it's been working, so I've just kind of been going with that. From there, you just go in and click on a profile. You probably just want to go with um, the normal profile. But just set it up for a normal profile, and it should automatically set everything the way that you're going to need it to be. I wouldn't worry too much about that at first. You'll have plenty of time to tinker with the settings. Just set it to normal and forget it. Where you're going to go to get your files, I will provide a whole list of links for places that you can go down in the description and in the comments. Uh, the main one that I use is thingiverse.com. Uh, I believe everything on there is free. However, you cannot sell the files from Thingiverse because those are all copyrighted by whatever author published them. So you can download it, you can print it, you just can't sell it. We're just going to go with Cute Dragon. They've got him in a weird position, I don't know why. So we're just going to come over here and download this. If you want to download Cute Dragon 2 for yourself, I will provide a link for that down 
in the description as well. Once you've got your file downloaded, just come back into Cura, click on this bad boy right here, and select your file from your downloads. We've got Cute Dragon 2 STL. And this is set up super weird. I don't know why it's set up like this. Let's just go ahead and reorient that. All right. And for this file, it looks like it's probably going to be a good idea to do just some basic supports. So, let me show you how to do that real quick. Just go ahead and type support in here. Generate support. And I just like to use tree because that is a minimal amount. And just come down here. Click slice. If you try to print something like this without the support, most likely you're going to end up with a really weird, ugly underside to it, or it'll just fail entirely. So let's preview this guy. That seems excessively large for the support. Let's try that again. There we go. Now, support is very important for stuff like this where let me show you just real quick so stuff like the dragon's wings right here can't just start printing from the middle of nowhere so you want to have support enabled when you've got things that are above a 45 degree angle so we've got our support on everything here that needs it we're going to save this, but what we're going to do is go ahead and plug in our handy memory card that we were talking about earlier. Let's see, save to removable drive, and then make sure to eject it. Once you are ejected, you are good to get this into your printer. Now that we've got him going, let me walk you through what filament I use. All right, the main filament that I use is our 3D filament. I do get this from Amazon. I will put a link to this in the description down below. And I always get different stuff from them. They've got different stuff every week. Um, so I print out guys that have a lot of different colors because of them. You can see this guy, this is two different kinds of filament, but I believe they're both uh, either dual or tricolor filament. And perhaps most importantly, we've got the time-lapse camera which I've got right over here. So there's two main versions. This is the basic version right here. And the one that you can see that I have is the version two here. Now they both do basically the same thing. The version two is just upgraded. And uh, I believe it has a little bit more compatibility than the original one however this one is about twice the price um, but it does let you do things like control your 3d prints as well as doing the time lapse so the big thing that i used it for is being able to control my printer when i wasn't at home which can be a very important thing i will have a link to those down in the description as well as pinned in the comments and let me know if you want me to do a video going in more detail about how to use the mintian beagle cameras because if so i can absolutely go into more detail on those otherwise leave me a comment if you have any other questions or anything that you think that i did not cover all right uh, i will leave you with a couple time lapses here if you got any value out of this video go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one all right peace